Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. Uh, you have some links with information about me and things that I do here. Let me note that uh, I use the um, redirect service from smarturl.it and if you create these redirect websites or addresses um, you can type in smarturl.it forward slash and then type in a word that is easy to remember so if you want my advice about how to pass actuarial exams just type in smarturl.it forward slash pass here's a problem um, about um, convexity find the convexity with respect to interest rate of a loan repaid with equal installments over n years at the end of each year if the interest rate is equal to zero If the interest rate is zero, then all cash flows of this loan have equal present value at time zero. And for simplicity, we can just assume that they're all equal to one. And the total present value of all payments in this uh, loan um, is n. So the Macaulay convexity is therefore equal to the weighted uh, value, weighted an average of the squares of times of payments. So 1 over n times 1 squared plus 1 over n times 2 squared and so on up to 1 over n times n squared or uh, that's the same as 1 squared plus 2 squared plus and so on up to n squared over n. The sum of squares of, of n consecutive integers from 1 to n um, is equal to 1 6 of n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1. Now you may not have memorized this uh, but it's probably a good idea to remember this for the test. And this is divided by n, so then this Macaulay convexity is 1 6 times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1. But the question is not about Macaulay convexity, it's about regular convexity, and regular convexity is equal to 1 over 1 plus i squared times Macaulay duration plus 1 over 1 plus i squared times Macaulay convexity. Now we don't know Macaulay duration but that's pretty quickly you can calculate it it's just a weighted average of times of payments so 1 over n times 1 plus 1 over n times 2 and so on up to n the sum of uh, integers from 1 to n is 1 half of n times n plus 1 I call this the Gauss formula or seven-year-old Gauss formula because Gauss who was the greatest mathematician that ever lived um, in fact, do you know how you define a mathematician? Well, by induction, of course, a mathematician is somebody who is considered to be a mathematician uh, by a mathematician. And Gauss was a mathematician. So when Gauss went to school, um, first time the teacher was lazy, there was some kind of bureaucratic school apparently, and told the kids to just sit down and add the numbers from 1 to 200 to keep them busy and not have to do work. And Gauss just gave her the answer uh, and uh, she wasn't happy. So she asked him to explain how he did it and he said, well if you take 1 plus 200 that's equal to 201 uh, and then um, if you take um, 2 plus 199 that's 201 and then 3 plus uh, 198 is 201, so I have a hundred such pairs of numbers that add up to 201. Therefore, the total sum is 100 times 201, and that's easy. I just add two zeros to 201, so it's 20,100. Um, well, that's why the sum of numbers from 1 to n is 1 half times n times n plus 1, because you have one-half times n pairs and each one of them adds up to n plus one. If you add the first and the last number, second and the second to last and so on. So this is one-half of n times n plus one over n and that's n plus one over two. And convexity is what you get when you plug this into uh, the formula for convexity uh, with respect to the interest rate. So it's one over one plus i squared times n plus one over two um, plus 1 over 1 plus i squared times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Interest rate is 0, so this just becomes n plus 1 over 2 plus n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. We find the common denominator, which is 6. Uh, then we multiply out 
and add up the, add up the numbers, and then we get n plus one times two n plus uh, four, and then cancel the two from the top and the bottom, and we have the answer of n plus one times n plus two over three. Please remember that this is copyrighted material and it was posted in 2005 as one of my um, then weekly exercises. Uh, good luck in your studies and good luck on the exam.